Hi, this is Jane at Artisan Stitch here. I thought I'd just quickly jump in and make a very short video to show you the journal I've just completed. Um, this is part of a challenge I'm involved with um, for the quilting group Contemporary Scotland Textiles. And we decided we would do a junk journal, which we would then get passed on around all the members and each member would add a page. So I've just finished my journal. Um, this is some Stitch Calico. I've reused um, one of my demonstration pieces of fabric, which I have volumes of um, pieces like this when I'm demonstrating free motion embroidery. And I never know what to do with them. So I've decided that I can paint them and put things on them and reuse the fabric that way. So here I am. I've painted and stamped on the cover. Um, I've used some vintage linen on the inside. This little embroidered garden here. And this is my first page. This little gardener's prayer, as I've, I've called it, I recite to myself when I'm putting new plants in the garden um, just to give them a little helping hand. Bless you little plant, may the sun shine on your leaves and the rain fall on your roots so you grow tall and strong and make lots of pretty flowers for the bees. So it's subtitled Poem for the Bees. It seems to be working. So um, this is eco printed paper. Um, this is coffee dyed paper, although it's come out still looking quite white, but it has toned down a little. Um, full of little poignant phrases about gardening. So I decided I'd make this like a, a gardener's journal. You probably guessed that. So piece of music. They dance on the lawn, not on my lawn, they don't. So hints and tips from garden books. Again, more content from garden books. Lots of pretty pictures to look through. And little tips card. The space to write on the back. Another little tuck spot. So this journal is made with a, a little tie binding so pages can be removed and added easily. Another little tuck spot to pop in some seeds or a little secret message. So as far as I was aware, tulips are grown from bulbs, not from seeds, but hey, never mind. Another little tuck spot. I can imagine that a lot of gardeners will have to do lists just like this one. Because it's a quilting group, I thought I'd probably better have a little some fabric in it. So I've added a little scrap of patchwork there. And a little seed packet. Patchwork paper. And some more eco print paper and the back cover. This is just covering up my home address. So if the inevitable happens and this gets lost in the post, it can be returned to me. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. And um, perhaps it'll inspire you to start making your own junk journal. And remember the idea behind junk journals is just to use what you have. You don't need to go out and buy anything. Um, you don't need to download pre-printed, you know, um, ephemera. Just 
use what you've got. Thanks for watching. Again, if you'd like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. Um, I may actually post other, um, other journals in this project as I receive them and work on them. So I'll give you a little insight into that.